Hello guys. Today I will show you how to install and play Emperor Battle for Dune on Windows 10. It is a game released back in 2001, making it 21 years old now. This took me quite some time to figure out, until I finally got it to work. Follow this process strictly step by step and you will be able to get it to work. Along the way, I will point out some of the reasons why we take certain actions for it to work. First, the requirements. 1. Download both the DirectX June 10th and Emperor install fix files in the video description. 2. You will also need to have your own copy of Emperor Battle for Dune. 3. You will need an .iso mounting software. I use PowerISO in this case. Important note. Make sure to make a backup copy of your Emperor Battle for Dune.iso files as we will be editing it. There will be a last resort method involved in case the earlier methods mentioned do not work. Then, we will install DirectX June 2010 Redistributable. This is because this game, and as well as old games, use the legacy version of DirectX without it. You will encounter the DirectX error involved when trying to launch the installer of the game and or the game will not launch. Also, Microsoft does not include legacy versions of DirectX in modern operating systems anymore since Windows 7 and onwards. The setup will prompt you where to extract files. Extract them anywhere you want and then double-click on the setup file it extracted to start the installation. Don't be afraid installing old versions of DirectX. All DirectX versions work together with each other. Older version would not override a newer version, same as newer version wouldn't override an older version. In fact, most game installations also install their own version of DirectX, to be sure of what is installed. Although DirectX is backwards compatible, within reason, the game needs to ensure that all the required modules are installed. After installing, we will then do the more important part. You see, Emperor Battle for Dune comes in four discs. We only need to edit the .iso of the first disc. We will not be extracting files from the .iso, as you may have read the readme file inside the Windows 10 fix for Emperor Battle for Dune.rar archive, but rather we will be editing the .iso itself. We will edit the first .iso file of Emperor Battle for Dune using Power ISO. Open the first disk of Emperor Battle for Dune using Power ISO. Right click on it, open with Power ISO. 
Now open the Emperor install fix.rar file. We will be doing replacements in three folders. Extract the setup.x file from the .rar file to the base directory of the .iso. Overwrite if asked. Extract the setup.x file and the emperor.x from the .rar file to the setup folder. Overwrite if asked. Extract the setup.x file and the emperor.x from the .rar file to the install folder. Overwrite if asked. Once done, click on File. Save as. Retain the same name for it, i.e. Emperor 1, but save it in another folder or drive. This will create our revised.iso file from which we then mount it. Now we mount our newly revised.iso file with PowerISO. After mounting, open it in Windows Explorer. Navigate to the Setup folder. Right-click on the setup.x and run it as administrator. The game's installer should then launch. However, if it does not launch and you get the direct X error instead, do not worry. We will try another method in the next section. If it does launch, it is highly advised not to close it and proceed directly to the installation. The installer is very very finicky and if you accidentally closed it and try to relaunch it, it may not work again for a long time. I learned this the hard way when I forgot to start recording my first successful attempt, so please be very careful. Proceed with the installation. Input your serial and go through the process. Once the installer starts installing the files, it should be good to go. At this point, we have also passed the infamous cannot read game onecap file error that many people also encounter. Now for some explanation. I think this issue presents itself if you try to extract all of the files from the .iso and apply the Windows 10 fix, as what the Windows 10 fix, RARS README suggests. The setup checks on the integrity of all files. Since it happens to check first game 1.cap, then this is the error that most people see. Also, a file size is different when it is compressed and when it is not for example, being inside a .rar file, and being outside a .rar file. The setup sees this discrepancy, and therefore stops the installation and pulls up the error instead. This is why I think it's impossible to install the game if you extract all of its contents outside from the .iso file. It will refuse to push through because of this built-in check. And hence, this is why we edit the .iso file itself, contrary to the instructions inside the Windows 10 fix.rar file. So what if it does not work or you accidentally closed it and it failed to work again? I was able to get it to work again after various attempts and trying a different method. However in both methods that I was able to get it to work, one of the crucial steps is copying the setup.x file from the Windows 10 Emperor Battle for Dunefix.rar file to the setup folder, replacing the setup.x located there. For the second method, all you need to do is to create another Emperor CD1.iso file by opening your Emperor CD1.iso then. The only file we need to copy is setup.x from the .rar file, and transfer it to the setup folder and replace the setup.x file there. We only replaced one file in this second method. After that, save the .iso file, to another drive. Then mount it. Open it in Windows Explorer, go to the setup folder and run the setup.x there as administrator. Hopefully it works. If it still doesn't, try restarting your computer. Try recreating the .iso file again in another drive or folder. Either do method 1 or method 2. Just make sure that you did install the DirectX June 2010 redistributable as well as it was mentioned in the early part of this video, otherwise it will never ever work. Believe me, this tough nut to crack took me around 80 attempts to successfully install it again. If you have kept trying over again, you can try this last method simply Simply mount your original Emperor CD1.iso, the one that you did not modify or replace any executables with. After mounting, 
Go to the setup folder and run the setup.x there. This is what worked for me for the last time, and it will only work if you have the DirectX June 2010 redistributable installed. After you have successfully installed the game, you can optionally download the version 1.09 update to patch the game to the latest version. After patching, go back to the .rar file and extract the emperor.x. Replace it to your game's directory. Overall installing this game was a pain, but glad enough to make it work. The installer is very finicky. Be sure to push through with the installation attempt once you have successfully run the .x file in all three methods, all of them involved running the setup.x from the .iso file. The method suggested in the readme of the .rar of extracting files from the .iso to your PC does not work at all. If this has helped you, please like and subscribe. Happy gaming!